That's right, first career shut up, baby. Who needs Rask when you got the monster? So you're just hopping right back on that bandwagon, eh? Hey, I'd rather be on that than the Minnesota Wild Equipment Truck. Boom! You ready? Bang, bang. Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Oh, uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. Dude, all their stuff got burned. That's not cool. Leafs win two to nothing against the Boston Bruins for Jonas Gustafsson, the Monsters' first career NHL shutout. That means he got a shutout in his first start after heart surgery. My friends, that is truculence. And dating back to the game in Montreal where he had to leave early, Gustafsson has stopped 49 of the last 50 shots he's faced. M O N S T E R. Anyone heard that song by Picnic Face? No. Okay. And this was just a good old-fashioned close game. The Leafs and Bruins enter the first intermission. In a scoreless tie, and I don't know about you, but I was saying, I'll take it. Then Thomas Caberly scores the first goal of the game in the second. It ended up being the game winning goal, and you. R A F K, you ain't stopping no shots today, you rasky. S T O P E, you're singing and scaring me, just stop it. Seriously, though, after completely slamming the door on the Leafs for the last two games, Tuka Rask lets in a softy, and it ends up being the game winner. And Jason Blake, not having the best of seasons, but he's getting a little more consistent, scores to make it 2 0, and that's the way it would stay. But the Bruins Bruins got their chances late. Matt Stajan taking a penalty after retaliating for Zidane O'Chara taking him down. By the way, how did the refs miss that call? He reached over with his giant arm and just took him down. How do you miss that arm? If Zidane O'Chara was in the penalty box, he could high-five his bench. And the period just got worse for Matt Stajan because Johnny Boychuk destroyed him. And during the Leaf Space live chat following the game, Everyone was talking about it. I know you all have your opinions. Question of the game, was that a clean hit? I'll tell you the biggest problem I have with that hit. It was Matt Stajan's birthday! Happy birthday, Matt Face! And there was blood all over his face, but he just went straight to the bench and got fixed up and played the rest of the game. And people talk about the speed of the new NHL and how it's hard to avoid hits like that, but Stajan wasn't really going fast at all. We discussed this a bit on Twitter. Caberlet fed him a bit of a suicide pass. There are two distinct feelings in a suicide pass. One, hey, I got the puck. Two, because you just got mangled. So because of what happened to Matt Stajan, what's the worst birthday gift you've ever got? Those of you that watch my videos in my first season know that before my 20th birthday, wisdom teeth infection. Best birthday ever. And for last video, guys, they said Toskala doesn't play that well with Gustafsson backing him up on the bench. Well, it's actually true. Now, the save percentage difference wasn't that big, but Toskala only has one win where Gustafsson's backing him up. So one final question for you guys. Are we going to get to see Toskala play again in 2009? Because the Leafs don't play back-to-back -back nights again for a while. In fact, they have a few two-day gaps. And Leafs fans and Bruins fans, because I know there's a bunch of you that watch these videos, let me know what you thought about the boy Chuck hit. Add me on LeafSpace.com, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'll see you next time.